Damn, boy, look at that pizza. Oh my goodness. Guys, welcome to Naples, Italy, to Napoli. We are going to be shooting a video today trying to find the best pizza in Italy. This is actually the birthplace of pizza, and we heard that Naples has the best pizza in all of Italy, so we are going to search for it. We're coming into just a little pizza spot right now. We're gonna be going around all around Naples the next day and a half trying to find the best pizza for you guys. So right now we're just walking to a little place called Pizzeria Frigatoria, right here. All right, you and I are here, and right here they're gonna make it like really fresh. Here's a pizza oven. You got all your ingredients laid out in front of you. They're actually making the dough right here in front of us as well. We got our cheese and basil and tomatoes. You excited for this? Very excited. I'm a pizza man. Damn, boy, look at that pizza. That looks insane. <laughs> Thank you so much. Gosh darn, guys, we got the whole package. I love going to little mom and pop places like that because they're usually so down with the cameras and like proud of the things that they do. Anyways, that cost us seven euro, right, Hugh? Seven, seven euro. euro, so not that bad. That's like a classic Italian pizza, that's what you want. So we're gonna go in right now and taste it. <laughs> okay, guys. We have ducked back into the hostel. So we're gonna do our first taste test of the pizza. For the first one, gosh, this looks amazing. We got a beautiful amount of basil, and we got the cheese, and this is just a classic margarita pizza. Wow. Wow, that was really good. Our basil really pops when you bite it. Oh, that's delicious. It's thin crust, cooked perfection. The crust is super squidgy, but really nice, like soft, fluffy. Two remarks on my end. I'm a guy who loves a thick pizza, like really fluffy. So for me, I'm not a huge fan of the, the thinness. And I think they went a little bit light on the cheese. Oh, no, no, it's perfect. For me, for me, it's perfect. Yeah. Like, it's not too heavy. You could eat lots of it without feeling like too like heavy down by the cheese. That is true, yeah. You know what I mean? Some, sometimes they overdo it, like you get like the four cheese ones, it's just too much. I'm just a man who likes to eat pizza and then wants to feel like he wants to kill himself when he's done. <laughs> but anyways, absolutely delicious. I gotta say like nine out of 10. Mm. Amazing. It's gonna be hard to top, I think, tomorrow. <laughs> oh yeah, I just, I, I really just like those little ones, those little gems that you find. Don't you know we saved the world? All right, guys, welcome to the old city of Napoli. We're actually here by the giant castle that's in the middle of the city. Uh, Hugh and I are now continuing our adventure. It's the next day to go find the best pizza in Italy. Also might be the best pizza in the world. So our second stop here is just gonna be another random one that we found on Google Maps. So let's head on out. Pizzeria it. <laughs> All right, we've taken a turn into some back alley. This looks very promising. Really cool area of town. We're gonna try to find this pizza place now. All right, so we've come into an interesting spot. Got a very much a uh, quieter, localer feel. I don't know if it is. <laughs> I'm getting this little Italian hand thing. The margarita is only four euro. So cheaper than what we were at yesterday. I don't know the sizes compared to what we had. Probably smaller, but it'll be interesting to taste it. And the description for the margarita is uh, ancient Naples tomatoes from the Latari Mountains. The Gilo Mill Evo, Evo Oil, Parmesan cheese from Red Pied Dairy Breed, and basil. Margarita? Si. Bufala? 
All right, the pizzas have been delivered. They look insanely delicious. Hey guys, here comes the first bite of this one. Oh, that's hot. Wow. Cheese is off the hook. Do I have something all over my face? The cheese is absolutely off the hook. The sauce is delicious. It is a little watery though. Like everything is just slipping off. I'll tell you guys what, the cheese on this one is what's getting me real nice. This is what I was looking for yesterday when it came to cheese. That was just missing from that other pizza. Hugh's gonna go in for his first bite of the margarita. Let us know what you think, boy. It's different. It is really different. Like, this Mario sauce is really raw. Like, it's not like, um, like we were saying earlier. I think it's like more like fresh blitz right there and then. But it's really tasty, but on the negative side of that, it's also really watery, which is a bit of a put off. But the crust is amazing as well. Yeah, so as Hugh said, it is extremely watery, which makes the eating experience a little difficult. But the cheese and crust, Absolutely incredible, like killer. They want it on the cheese and crust. Absolutely amazing. All right, guys, so we just got out of the pizza place. That place was called Nitrea e Frigatori, which is like a pizza and fry place. My overall verdict has got to be like a 7.5 out of 10. Still amazing pizza. Their strong points were with the bread and with the cheese, amazing. Sauce was a little off, it was so different for me. It was really sour and tomato saucy. Anyways, the pizza hunt continues. Pizza number three. Our strategy behind this one was to ask somebody on the street and just take the recommendation immediately. What is your favorite pizza? So we've asked a shopkeeper back there and he has uh, sent us, what do you say, salida? Salida <laughs> uh, up the right, yeah. on the right. So we're gonna try to find this pizza place that he told us about. We are in the upper part of Napoli right now. So we try to get a little bit out of the more touristy area, a little more into the local area. We're thinking this one's in line with this direction, so maybe this is it. We're gonna give it a shot though. It's the first pizzeria we found following his instructions. So here we go. We're not even waiting on the menus on this one. We're going straight in. We just ordered our margarita pizzas and we're gonna have them very soon and see what they're like. See? Oh my God. Okay. Guys, we've received the pizza. It is huge and it is also shaped like a heart, which is amazing. <laughs> it looks absolutely delicious. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be quite the treat. This one actually looks a lot different than the other ones in the sense of the crust is like kind of middle size, not too large, not too small. And the cheese and the basil spread looks awesome. All right guys, it is time to taste this pizza. I have to say, I really appreciate the spread of basil on this one. There's a lot, which makes me very happy. All right guys, here we go. Wow. Wow. That was excellent. How was it, YouTube? Good. I'm needing to eat more of this one because I'm trying to figure out where it sits, like where it is, like it's like again, it's different from all the others, and I'm trying to work out where it places and I'm trying to figure out what I like about it. That's something that we're noticing. Every single one of these pizzas has been so different from the other. Like they're all margaritas, they have the general same, you know, ingredients and flavor, but they're just, there's something about them that sets them all apart. And this one is definitely different. The sauce here is different, the cheese is different. I love the basil. The basil's a little burnt too, which adds like an extra kind of like a, almost barbecue-y flavor. All right, some important things to mention. I have to say that the dough here is a little too thin for my liking, for what I found. Like you mentioned, I'm not gonna find a thick dough, a thick crust here in uh, in Italy. And in the same sense, I do really like this one structurally. I couldn't have done this with any of the other pizzas. They would have fallen apart. The fact that this is staying together, it's holding intact with the cheese, the basil, and the sauce is really, really fun. It's just enjoyable to eat, to just be able to take a bite, have it all come off in one go, and just be able to chew it continuously. Guys, that is a finished pizza treat. Wow. That was absolutely incredible. That was almost the perfect pizza, and I have no idea where I am now on the scale of what, which one is my favorite. This pizza was only four euro, which makes it a little bit cheaper than the other ones, and for the size of it, 
it's quite a banger. This one is super local, and uh, we, we like the fact that we had to ask a local to get here, and there's only locals here. We haven't seen a single tourist in the restaurant. So it really adds that nice touch, and we're kind of tied in between the first and this one right now because we're thinking, you know, the local spots are where they're at. But we'll see after we have our last pizza. All right, guys, so pizza number four. We are back in downtown historic Naples, and we're actually going to visit what is supposedly the place where the margarita pizza was invented. This is one of the oldest pizza places in the entirety of Naples, and this is one of the famed places to get a pizza in all of Naples. So we're gonna head there right now and give you the lowdown when we get there. All right guys, so welcome to Pizzeria Brandy. This is where the famed margarita pizza is said to have been created. This place has actually been around since the 1700s and the margarita pizza was actually said to be created here in the 1800s by a queen who came and requested a, uh, a food that would fill her up and the entirety of her nation of Italy. And so the chef made a pie that consisted of basil, cheese, and red tomato sauce like the Italian flag. And that's where the margarita pizza was born. So we're gonna head on in there and taste it and see if it holds up. I'm so excited that I accidentally took the first bite off camera, but wow. This pizza's off the hook. The bread is amazing. There is a taste that I can't explain. Your sauce is very different than all the other sauces we've had so far. The cheese is the perfect consistency. It's not too rubbery and not too, um, you know, like soft. There is a perfect taste to this. I would like a little bit more basil, that's for sure, because there wasn't too much. But damn, that is off the hook. All right, boy. What are we saying about the home of the margarita? Mm. It's pretty good. Like you said, the, the sauce is really different. I actually get like a little bit of a peppery kick. I don't know whether I don't know what that is, but maybe it's a little bit of pepper in the sauce. And like for me, like the basil, I can taste it throughout. So I think it's a really good level of basil. But yeah, really, really nice, really good. Wow, guys, I cannot get enough of this one. I wasn't really this hungry going in, but damn. I have to say, I think the sauce is what really sets this one apart compared to the other ones we've had. Completely different than everything we've had. The tomato sauce consistency is very creamy and it tastes like there's some extra spice or something in there. Also, I very much appreciate how well the pizza holds together and it doesn't fall apart or droop too much. All right, guys, I really enjoyed that pizza. That was delicious. I like the environment as well. Everybody was super nice. It was nice and clean and quiet. Um, I heard it does get busy, but it wasn't specifically very busy when we were there now. So uh, excellent, definitely recommend that one. I'll probably give the pizza like a nine out of 10. It was really on par with the one we had first. So pretty great score. All right, guys. Well, we're gonna give you guys our final thoughts on this whole pizza adventure. Uh, we are in a different location. From where we were, we're in Milan right now. Um, and this is en route to London. But we just didn't have time to film it in Napoli, so we, we had to do it here. So, our verdict. Ooh. I think we've decided, ooh, at least on my end, that the first one we had, best. the best pizza. I think it's time to give it like an overall score. On, on my end, I think it was a 9.5 for the first one, for sure. What about you? That first pizza was my perfect pizza. I've never had better. I'm gonna literally have to give it a 10 out of 10. You reckon it's the best pizza you've ever had? It is, it is, uh, it is easily the best pizza I've ever had. And I'll tell you, this is what we also wanted to make clear. The four pizzas that we tried were all amazing. They were incredible. Like the best pizzas we've ever had in general. But it was just like, which one is the best of the best? And it just, there was something about the environment of the first one, the way they delivered it, the size of it, the flavor, everything just came everything together. Sauce and crust and cheese. That was us trying to find the best pizza, the best margarita pizza in Italy, possibly the world. So that's it for you guys. People claim that this, that, that was the best city. Napoli is the best city to get a margarita pizza because that's where it was invented. So 
Hopefully, hopefully we did it justice. If you're Italian, if you're from Napoli and you want to leave us a comment, maybe what we did wrong or some places we should visit next time, please do. And we'll see you in the next one. I love you. Long time, class. Goodbye.